In classic Mulgore, there are six different rare spawns, and in this video, we're going to cover their locations, their skills and abilities, their respawn times, and take a look at their loot tables. First up on our list, we got Snagglespear. He's located in a knoll camp just south of Bloodhoof Village. He's level 9 with 176 health, he's hitting for 15 to 18 damage at a second and a half speed. He's got 406 armor. Now granted, you're going to meet this guy when you're level 6 or 7, so that 15 to 18 is looking more like 30. He's going to be critting for 70, which makes him super dangerous. As for loot, you can expect to find some linen cloth, some type of consumable, possibly a minor health pot. Most importantly, you got a 4% chance for a 6 slot bag. Snaggle Spear is labeled as an uncommon rare, and he has a respawn time of 1 to 2 hours. As for abilities, he's got the net ability, which doesn't do damage, but it's sweet because it counts as one of his attacks. So that's one less swing, a little bit more time for you to take him down. Now, if you pull the guy, you're better off just taking him on because he's just going to take you down in a couple hits otherwise. Let's take a look at Masranache. Masranache. Masranake. Masranaki. He can be found just north of Stone Bowl Lake. He's a level 9 beast with 187 health. He's hitting for 21 to 30 in attack, and he's coming in at a slow speed of 2 seconds. He's got 406 armor, and his loot table, he's going to be dropping a sleek feathered tunic at 50%, which is a nice piece for hunters and druids. And again, he has a small chance, 0.25%, to drop a 6 slot bag, so he's worth killing for that. He's labeled as an uncommon rare, and he respawns every 1 to 2 hours. As for abilities, Masranachi has a rushing charge, and he's got this deadly poison dot that lasts 2 minutes, it's going to hit you for 10 to 15 nature damage every 10 seconds. Moving on to the one and only, the Rake. The Rake can be found in between Red Rocks and Thunder Bluff, and he walks in a path in a clockwise direction. He's a level 10 beast with 197 health, sitting for 11 and 19 in attack. He's coming in at a quick 1.2 seconds. He's basically got no armor. You can expect to find Lion for armor, which has a 95% drop rate, and in similar fashion, he's got a 0.25% chance to drop a sweet six slot bag. He's labeled as an uncommon rare, and because of his level, he moves up a bracket, and he has a respawn time one and a half to two and a half hours. As for abilities, he's got this muscle tear, which temporarily reduces your strength by something like six strength for five seconds. Pro tip! Back in vanilla, hunter pets were subject to their attack speed as they were found in the real world. Then in the Burning Crusade, they were all normalized to a two second attack speed. This means that the Rake is the fastest hunter pet that you can find till you tame Broken Tooth at level 37 or Bloodseeker Bat, which both have speeds of one second. So go get your Rake today! Enforcer Emelgund. He can be found in an encampment just north of Thunder Bluff. He's a level 11 rare spawn with 440 health. He's hitting at 29 to 42 in attack. He's coming in at a second and a half. He's got 538 armor. And as for loot, he's really just going to drop linen cloth and some type of white piece of gear. He's labeled as an uncommon rare. He's got an hour and a half to two and a half hour respawn time. He has no abilities, so he's a tank and spank. So for the casters and the hunters, stay away from him as much as you can because two crits in a row and you're pretty much toast. Next, let's look at Sister Hate Lash. She's found in the northwest corner of Molgor, normally surrounded by a couple mobs. She's level 11, 419 health, and her melees are hitting at 21 to 26 damage at a second and a half attack speed. She's got 450 armor, and similar to Enforcer Animal Gun, you're going to see linen cloth, maybe a health pot, but some type of white gear. She's labeled as an uncommon rare, so her respawn time is an hour and a half, two and a half hours. And for abilities, she has Lightning Barrier and Lightning Bolt. Um, this means if you're staying at a distance with her, you're really at a disadvantage and she's going to take you down pretty quick. So you want to do this hand-to-hand, -hand, melee to melee, bada-bing, bada-boom. Last, and certainly not least, we got Ghost Howl, who's easily distinguishable by his ghost-like appearance. Uh, he can be found walking in a counterclockwise position on the northwest edge of Thunder Bluff. He's a level 12 beast with only 262 health, compared to Hate Lash and Emelgun's 400 something health. Um, it seems as if Blizzard wants you to kill this guy. Uh, he hits at 21 to 26 damage, second and a half attack speed, 573 armor, 
And this is why I believe Blizzard wants this to be an easy kill, because he drops a quest item, the Demon Scarred Cloak. Um, you're gonna finish this quest in Bloodhoof Village, and it's a nice little XP gain. As for his label, he's labeled as an uncommon rare spawn. He's got an hour and a half to two and a half hour respawn time. His abilities, he's got an enrage ability, which increases his damage and haste. Um, so I'd kite him if you could, but considering he's got a low amount of health, it's pretty easy to kill. Now before I let you go, I want to let you know that all this data and these numbers that I displayed are all subject to change. We don't have classic servers out yet. Um, and all this information is based off of past databases and other places that I'm pulling information from. So if you'd like more information on how I put this video together, the link will be in the description. Um, and I'll explain how and why I'm creating these videos in preparation for Classic WoW. Be easy. Raise for days. Out.